Hey everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Today I will talk about a huge and important trend in the gaming industry in 2024, which will have the potential to change everything and make games even more immersive. And maybe we can also already see all this in GTA 6, so stay tuned. Using Unreal Engine 5 and the new features like Lumen and Nanite, game levels look better and better. But I guess we already almost reached photorealism, so what will be next? How should games evolve further? And I guess in the next years we don't see so many graphical enhancements or something like that. We will see like performance optimizations maybe and stuff like that. But I guess we will see more other features to make games even more immersive, except from the graphics. And one thing which is already implemented in a handful of games are AI characters you can talk and interact with. And the difference to normal characters we already know and saw from uh, GTA 5, for example, or other games are that the old characters have a fixed script which dictate them what they yeah need to say or what they need to do. But using AI, those responses can get generated dynamically based on your past actions in the game before you meet the character. So imagine you play for example GTA and kill a gang and then you go to the leader of this specific gang. And of course he will be enraged and will be emotionally react to what you did before and all this stuff can get generated for example using AI. And that's absolutely crazy. And yes, platforms like for example Conf AI can already support those emotions. So game developers later only need to provide the characters a backstory which also could like generate it or randomized easily using other AI tools. And like this you can easily generate a huge variation out of different characters to populate your open worlds or your city and no interaction will be similar to the last one and all this will make the games more interesting for players because no interaction will be similar to the last experience basically they had with the AI character since every character has a unique background story. And I guess features like those will make games more and more unique and also immersive. And let me know what you think about all this also, in which game you maybe also already would like to have a feature like this today. That would be super interesting to know. And yeah, all this is actually something which, for example, Strauss Zelnick, the CEO of Take-Two Interactive, also know about. And since he will be in charge and can make decisions which will influence how the GTA 6 later, for example, also will look like, it is not unlikely that we maybe get that kind of characters in the game world of GTA 6 later as well, since he's also fascinated about the ideas. And now you already got an overview about those AI characters but I also of course need to give you an overview about the current limitations and why uh, we maybe need to wait until GTA 7 or something like this to see those characters. Because even when Stroh Zelnick likes the idea, this don't mean that they can directly add this to GTA. Since every interaction you do with a character in the game world also need to go to a server where those responses get generated for you and of course there you then need to also pay hosting costs which could sum up quickly for games with a huge player base like GTA. So we maybe need to wait until those responses maybe directly can get generated on the local PC of the audience. And Nvidia and all those companies currently already of course creating uh, those chips which are designed for AI usage and stuff like that and maybe stuff like this is needed to achieve that scale of AI characters inside a game world like this. So the costs for Take-Two don't get too much there because otherwise they maybe need to switch back to this like payment method we already talked about in the last video which was just an idea basically they like talked about that games for example don't cost a one-time fixed fee but instead you pay per hour of playing it or you have a monthly fee like I don't know for example on Netflix to watch videos you have a fee a monthly fee for playing different games or playing one game in particular and of course we maybe yeah don't want to have something like that but for that we need to make the costs for those AI characters um, scalable basically and that's maybe something which will take a bit longer. 
And also you right now have some technical limitations depending which tools and platforms you are planning to use. And the best platform I saw till now is for example Conf AI, which also now support emotions which are also important for story games and also the characters of your game worlds. And all in all the development of those new tools currently is so quick that I guess that this will be one of the biggest trends in gaming for the coming years because imagine you could actually talk with NPCs in GTA and I guess it would be super funny and I guess also many YouTubers would be able to make cool and funny videos and especially when the characters also have crazy background stories like you already saw that in their GTA 6 trailers basically. And those AI characters not only can get used for example in the gaming industry. Over the last month I made more videos about this topic in general and many people out of the community contacted me to yeah, build those virtual characters also for marketing, presenting their products or also use them as a virtual influencer. And yeah, stuff like this also can be a cool use case where you maybe have a 3D office and the AI receptionist giving you a tour through the company, explaining you products, showing um, like AI customer testimonials you can actually talk with to get a feeling how the service for example was. And stuff like this of course also help companies to set them apart of yeah, others and also build up trust in this sales process basically. And all this stuff is also like very interesting and we also support you there to find the right technologies for your use case. So if that's uh, yeah something interesting for you or you also want to build your first own game using those AI characters, you can easily find my mail in the description of the video. So feel free to contact me. I'm happy to help you and assist you there finding the best strategy to build your project in the most efficient way. And yeah, that's it already for this video. I hope you liked it and it was interesting, but let me know what you think about this quick development of AI tools and also what you think will be the biggest trends for gaming in the upcoming year. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.